Hey, good morning, you guys. All right, lots of fun out here at Crocker Park all morning. Uh, this is really cool. We're talking about the end of summer events into fall. One of the big events, uh, the 10th annual, if you can believe it or not, Wine Festival. Uh, it's going to happen right here next weekend, right, Deb? Next week on September 17th and 18th. Uh, Pretty much right here, it starts from where we are and it goes all the way down, correct? Yep, all the way down to the Gap in Banana Republic, right here outside on Main Street at Crocker Park. And uh, it's going to be a great time. We're here 2 to 10 on Saturday and 4 to 10 on Friday. A little okay. backwards there, but yeah. uh, it's a great event. It's sponsored by Market District yeah. and it's to benefit Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital. Which is awesome. Yeah. Okay, and John, um, over 150 wines, over 70 wineries and breweries, uh, wines literally from all over the world. Uh, you chose two for us this morning. Uh, why don't you pour and talk about taste characteristics? <laughs> yes, I, br I brought two wines to uh, taste and characterize. Mm -hmm. They are uh, two different uh, different areas, different styles. Uh, both one's a Chardonnay, one's a uh, Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. Both are grapes that are from the Burgundy region. This mm -hmm. is uh, from the Burgundy itself. It's a Chardonnay grape. Uh -huh. uh, Joseph Druin does a beautiful job in the characteristics. Very floral, very uh, creamy in style. Some peach, pear, apple style, crispy okay. in characteristics. A nice summer wine. A, a nice good summer wine. Yeah, yeah, goes wonderfully with food. The the Pinot Noir. This is California. This is okay. a blend of three different areas of California hmm. to make it interesting. And why do you uh, think we've seen such a popularity in Pinot Noirs lately? Uh, because they go so very well with food, so they're, they're, they're very easy to drink. They've got great acidity and brightness to them. They're very refreshing. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, France does a nice job out of Burgundy with them. California is doing a beautiful job. Oregon, we do an amazing job out of the Oregon wines. So it's just see. a cooler climate that it works out very well for. For the beginning wine fan and for the seasoned wine fan, what will this provide for them? Uh, this will uh, get a chance to try Chardonnays against other Chardonnays, Chardonnays from around the world, from California, from France, and from Australia, and so forth. Uh, and they'll get to see the different characteristics from the different areas and what the different areas provide for the grape. And grape literally, they are. Uh, wine from around the world. Yeah. 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 We've got France, we've got Australia, we've got. Uh, Italy, Oregon, uh, wow. Washington wines will be there, okay. uh, Spanish, Spanish sparklers and so forth. Yeah, amen. Um, Danny, come on up. And so, Deb, how do people get tickets? Sure. So you go to CrockerParkWineFestival.com and tickets are $35 in advance before midnight on September 16th. It's a benefit for Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital. And if you buy them after midnight on the 16th, so the day of the event, the 17th or 18th, they're yeah. $40. And you get 10 taste tickets, good for beer, wine, and spirits. Uh, you've got your souvenir glass. You can also purchase food on site. We've got Leo's Italian Social, Burntwood Tavern, Hot Chicken Takeover, lots of live music on the Serpentini of Westlake stage. We've mm -hmm. got West Side's own Cats on Holiday and Funkology coming out. Very cool. It's going to be a great time. Lots of fun things and, well, plenty of wine, beer, and spirits for everyone. Yeah. Ten years, one of the biggest events for us are 5,000 people, so it's huge. Danny, we're talking about events summer, into summer, beginning of fall. First of all, two movie nights still coming up? Yes, we still have two movie nights left. Movies in the Park is going to be tonight mm -hmm. um, as uh, around dusk, as well as next Thursday, the 16th, um, mm -hmm. and it's on the Market Square Lawn, presented okay. by Birchwood Schools of Hawken. And then we have an exciting new boutique. We've been talking about local all morning, yeah. so we have a Stella boutique opening up in Phase 3. A uh, food truck? And food trucks coming October. October 2nd. And then trick. Um, food truck challenge October 2nd, tricks and treats October 30th. So awesome. we're jam packed next few, next awesome. few months. We're excited. Everybody, <laughs> thank you so much. So cool. So, Crocker Park, that's happening. All right. Back to you guys in the studio.